zero. So uh, yeah, this lies in that range. A carboxylic acid group has one proton because it is C O O H and uh, it has only one proton over here and it is also you know it contains the OH group which we talked about earlier so that confirms it's a singlet so in my opinion it has to be the carboxylic acid group and uh, so this is CO2H so this molecule is ethanoic acid and um, if you actually see the data booklet then um, you will you'll get to, you'll understand how I so how, how how I got this and you'll be able to solve it yeah so the answer is ethanoic acid now um, look at this spectrum now the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at this spectrum is the triplet over here and the quartet over here and as we first discussed a triplet and quartet together always gives my favorite combination which is CH3 CH2 so I did not look at anything I just knew that it has to be CH3 CH2 together we will see what happens next because uh, because like we have this peak but we know these from these two peaks we know that it has to be CH3 CH2 and uh, so we have already deciphered two of these peaks and we can see that the total number of uh, the total number of um, hydrogen proton environments in this case are three so one two and three because three peaks so that means we have already done two and we are left with one now let's look at the integration three hydrogen atoms two hydrogen atoms and um, we have one peak over here now let me look it is near two so when I look at the data booklet what I get is So I get, so this is near 2.2, yeah. And when I look at 2.2, uh, I get CH3CO. So we can say that, so actually I believe this should be integrated to three as well. Uh, the, I think there's something wrong with the spectrum because these two heights should be the same because when I look at my uh, data booklet, it, it says CH3CO. So that means I can't attach the CS3 here because that will uh, that 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 is not because then I won't be able to attach my CO anywhere. So I know that the CO has to be here and the CH3 has to be here. Now I also know this because the positions I know the positions because this is a singlet. The neighboring carbon atom cannot have any. Uh, this is a singlet, so the neighboring carbon atom cannot have any protons attached to it. So if I neighbor this CH3 group with this CH2 group then I will be having a quartet for this for a triplet for this because it will be uh, 2 plus 1 the n plus 1 rule but I need a singlet for this so I know that I need to separate these two with with some with a group in between and my data booklet says that this group is CO so I can say that this molecule is butanone Known. Uh, so yeah so the easiest thing about the spectrum was the quartet and the triplet so just remember quartet and triplet together deadly combination you, you you've cracked your NMR spectrum okay so yeah beauty known now the next spectrum now they have given me the molecular formula C4H8O2 so I know I have four carbon atoms I have eight hydrogen atoms and I have six, two oxygen atoms mm -hmm. now the eight hydrogen atoms we have confirmed because they have also given me numbers over here 
So this will be uh, what your exam papers will be like. They will give you numbers on top of peaks to show the integration. So 3 plus 2 is uh, 5, 5 plus 3 is 8.